I am living for this, okay? I really am. I'm still not okay. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome, welcome back to my channel, my book loving friends. My name is Christina, if you're new here, and we are starting a brand new reading vlog today. Hi, how are you? It is Wednesday. Um, I don't know what day it is. Oh, it's May 31st. It's the last day of May. It's kind of crazy to me. But I just came home from the gym, and I am going to start a new book today. So we're going to start a brand new vlog, and I don't know, this might go on for a week and a half probably because at the rate that I've been reading haven't really been doing a lot of it lately um but I'm not gonna force myself to read too much I'm just gonna keep it cool calm and try to stay sane but I am going to be reading a book that you guys will definitely be seeing in the thumbnail and I can't wait to read it to be honest it's, a, it's literally right next to me but I'll be reading fourth wing in this vlog this is a five star prediction this is a prediction to be one of my favorite books of all time it's a prediction to be my top 10 of the year I just I have very very high hopes for this for this book mainly because it is targeted to a lot of things that I love um there's an enemies to lovers in here there are dragons obviously there's fantasy um I don't know I've just I've been seeing a lot that a lot of Sarah J Mass lovers love this book um this book is definitely not for everybody but I've heard amazing things about it so at least people that have very similar reading tastes to me really do love this book and I'm extremely excited to read this book I did end up getting this book off Pango because it's freaking sold out it's sold out you can get it at a Barnes & Noble it's on back order you can get it until like midway through June and it's it's insane you can't find this book anywhere okay literally anywhere but I am in love with the sprayed edges and I want to love this book so much because it's so hyped up in my head like it's so hyped up in my head I've been seeing it everywhere I don't really see that many bad reviews for it and it's just it also has an extremely high rating like one of the highest ratings I think I've ever seen on Goodreads the ratings are like 4.8 I think that's probably the highest rating I've ever seen on Goodreads and there's over 20,000 reviews that's a lot that's very very high do you know how many five star ratings you need to have that high of a rating? It's incredible. Um, but I am very excited to get into this. I do plan on starting it today. I'm not entirely sure when. Um, but today my main focus is going to end up being to edit. I need to edit my vlog and try to get my other one up again because it's still not working. I think what I'm going to do is delete the file again and re-export it all over again and try to see if hopefully that ends up working this time. I don't know that that video is really pissing me off but I want to put it up so bad um but yeah so I'm about to get ready for work I do have my lighted up Crescent City sweatshirt that I love so much right now I'm kind of living in it so expect me to be in this like almost all week long but I'm about to get ready for work um I just came back from the gym and to be honest I did not want to be at the gym today <laughs> I'm gonna get ready probably go to my favorite bakery uh get some coffee get some food and go to work maybe even start this bad boy um i do plan on like annotating it but i am not going to ruin the sprite edges by bringing the annotation like the tabs out i don't think plan for today is to read fourth wing some of it at least but mainly to edit is gonna be my main focus later but i'm gonna shut up down because i have nothing else to say <laughs> um i will see you guys later Friday I just came back from the gym and I had an amazing workout an amazing workout probably the best workout I've had in a while um and I feel really good today so um it's currently like 7 a.m okay I need my coffee <laughs> it's currently 7 a.m I just got home from the gym I did run to Dunkin really quickly to get some coffee let's get into some updates shall we so I do have updates on two books as well as I finished the book so I did finish The Risk by S.T. Abbey 
Um, this is the first book in the Mindfuck series, which I know everybody knows. I gave this book three stars. It was good. We all know I'm not a thriller girly, so this is not technically my cup of tea. Um, there was a little bit of smut. It's not really smut focused, which is kind of what I wanted, but it was short. It was sweet. It was it was fun. It, there's a thriller aspect to it that I don't really have interest in. There's nothing intriguing me to the story. The ending was fine. I will pick up the second book because I want to see if it grabs my attention. If not, then I probably won't continue the series. I'm not too intrigued about the series, to be honest, to figure out what the heck happens. But I can see why it's a dick thing for people who like thrillers and people who are interested in, like, mysteries and all that fun stuff. I will say the FBI profiler thing is really fun because I love, love Criminal Minds. I've watched the entire show probably three times. Love Criminal Minds. Um, but other than that, it's not really... It's man. I like the concept of a killer dating an FBI agent who is dis who's literally investigating her case and has no idea. Um, the concept's cool, just not my cup of tea, which isn't a bad thing. I did still give it three stars. I did enjoy it. It was fine. Lately, I've been in an audiobook kick where all I've wanted were audiobooks. Um, haven't really been in the biggest physical mood. And lately at the gym, I just haven't been in a music mood. I've been wanting audiobooks, so I listened to that at the gym. And then when I finished that, I continued Catherine House. So I started Catherine House yesterday during Jan's Sprints. I am buddy reading this with Jan. I am reading it for her um, book club. It is her book club pick for um, this month, I will say. I don't like the deckled edges, but it's fine. Um, I am currently on page 55, and so far I'm not hating it. I do not have high hopes for this book. This book is extremely compared to Bunny. People who love Bunny love this book. I hated Bunny. It is one of my most hated books that I've ever read in my life. I did not like Bunny. It was I was not the audience for that book. I hate that book. Um, I really did not like that book, which by the way was also a Buddy read with Jan. I just remembered that. I forgot me and her buddy read fucking Bunny. Jan loved Bunny. I did not. I was not the biggest fan of Bunny. So now we're reading Catherine House together. I, by the way, have owned Catherine House for, I think since it came out years ago. And I just, I knew I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> so I kept putting it off, but I could never get rid of it. Um, I also have no idea where the heck my copy is, so I ended up borrowing a copy from my library. And we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to continue prob probably reading this because it's extremely short. The audiobook, I do have the audio on hand, which is great. The audiobook is extremely slow. Very, very slow. Like, if you normally listen to your books at double speed, crank that baby up to 2.3 because holy heck is this narrator slow, slow as hell. But I am going to continue reading this. And then minor, minor update on Fourth Wing. I have not had a lot of physical reading time and I just ha really haven't had too much time to pick up this book. I am currently on page 29 and I am really enjoying this. I don't think it's a shock to anyone that I'm enjoying this, um, but I definitely want to continue this as well. I am about to hop on with Jan. Me and Jan love reading and sprinting in the morning together, so we're about to hop on and probably read a little bit. I do plan on editing a little bit. I'm going to try to repost my video again. Hopefully I can get that up. And we're gonna go from there. I do want to edit a little bit. I probably won't be able to edit my entire video because there's a lot of footage. But whatever I can get done, I'll I'll call it success. A success. Goodness gracious. Anyway, um, I do plan on doing a minor 24-hour readathon-ish type day tomorrow, where I read as much as humanly possible. A bunch of my girlfriends are doing the uh, slumber party readathon that we do every single month. Little me and a bunch of my girlfriends do a 24 hour readathon every single month starting in January and now we kind of just do it monthly which is such a good time. So I will probably be hopefully reading a good amount tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure what I'm reading just yet. It depends on what the heck I'm in the middle of. Um, but it should be a fun time. I don't know if I'm going to stay up late. I don't really know if I'm going to do a timer method, if I'm just going to read as much as humanly possible. But that will be in this vlog because I don't have that much footage for this vlog anyway. So I might as well make it a silly goofy fun time. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now, and I will see you guys when I have any updates at all. Hello, how are you? I am in my parents' backyard because it's a beautiful day today. It's not hot, it's like 60s, it's a little chilly, it's a little windy. Oh, it feels beautiful outside right now. But it is Saturday, it's around 11.50. I'm about to start like a mini 24 hour readathon type thing. Um, that should be, that should be fun. But let's get into some reads and what my plans are for the day. So I am still in the middle of Catherine House. 
I'm currently on page 95 <laughs> um, and I don't really know my feelings yet about this book they're kind of just like meh I'm not I don't have any strong feelings yet but I did pick up two books yesterday from the library I think I'm gonna start with one of these so I picked up Dancing at the Pity Party which is a graphic novel as well as The Prince and The Dressmaker which is also a graphic novel so I thought starting with the graphic novel will make me feel accomplished <laughs> So it's around 11.50 right now. I think I'm going to start in about 10 minutes and just read a lot. I think I'm gonna hop on sprints with some of my girls later and just kind of chill. I am cleaning a little bit, so I'll probably listen to some audiobook listening time. I'm currently listening to Catherine House. I don't really know what I'm planning on reading today. I'm kind of just gonna do a little bit of everything today. We'll go from there. I do want to pick up Fourth Wing. I think that's probably what I'm going to focus on when I'm on sprints because I'll probably be physically reading during sprints, but yeah, we're gonna start with one of these and have a good old time. <laughs> Monday <laughs> I don't think I updated at all throughout the week I completely failed that many little 24-hour readathon I was trying to do on Saturday I ended up reading one book on Saturday and that was The Prince and the Dressmaker I gave this book four stars it was a really cute graphic novel I thought it was adorable I really did enjoy it I think the graphics in here were really adorable also and the story is just it's adorable. It was an adorable, fun little time, and it was a fun read. Highly recommend this book. It was so cute. And it is queer, and it is Pride Month, so. Um, okay, so we have a massive library haul, a mini book buying haul, and a minor ass update, okay? So, mini update. I switched formats for the fourth wing. I was not loving the audiobook, so now I am just physically reading this book, so it's gonna take me a while because it's a very long book. I'm currently on page 69. I am on chapter 6. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. I really am. I'm having a really good time with it. I'm extremely intrigued and I cannot wait to see what else happens. So hopefully I get to make some progress in this. But let's get into the books because I'm very excited. So I did buy a lot. Um, not bad because I did go to the library, but I did get a lot of LGBTQ plus books. Okay, it is Pride Month, so we we gotta we gotta get some Pride books in, okay? Um, so Jan is actually hosting a uh, Patreon readathon this weekend, and the theme is LGBTQ plus. So I got a bunch of books, but first things first, I did get <sighs> Alone with You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. She's the author of the Alice 6. I didn't love the Alice 6. I don't think this is queer, but I did see it at my library and thought that it would be a short, fun read for some time. I don't really know when, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to like this book. I really have to look at the synopsis a little bit more, but I did find it. I thought it was a nice little pick. Then I kind of just started browsing around and came about a bunch of other books. So first book I saw that I think is adorable is Just How You Are. This looks like a fun Fun time, I think this is a, it just says, equal parts witty and steam, this debut rom-com brings a healthy dose of queerness to a pride and prejudice inspired enemies to lovers romance. Enemies to lovers had me at hello. Um, and then I also got Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black. This looks like a nice short book. I did get a lot of short books because I do want to fit in a good amount of reading this weekend. Also, I am trying to read at least another book in this video. I would like to close off this video on Friday, but... We'll see how that goes. Uh, the next book I got is Nothing Burns As Bright As You. This is a poetry collection, so once again, a nice fast read. And then I got 
this short book how y'all doing this is by leslie jordan um he was freaking hilarious i can't wait to read this i think it's gonna be a fun time once again it's super short it's like very very small and the the font is just massive and enormous so this is also going to be a nice a fun fast read and then probably the one that i'm most excited for i got cafe con leche 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 i don't know I don't know. I want to say Café con Leche, but it's probably not. But it literally says, A Perfect Enemies to Lovers Tale. We know if it says Enemies to Lovers, I'm going to say hell yeah and how high, okay? Um, and just look at that cover. I just, I love that cover. Love, love, love that cover. Um, I didn't really need anything. Um, literally, the little blurb says, Sometimes bitter rivalries are, Sometimes bitter rivalries can brew something sweet. Come on. How fucking adorable is that? Then I went to my bookstore. My bookstore owner is a part of the LGBTQ plus community. So I went to go support him a little extra hard this month. He was also having a little mini pride sale, which I thought was fucking adorable. So I got this graphic novel called North Ranger. I have not heard of this, uh, but uh, the little thing on the back says... Oh, dang it. I'm going to butcher that name. Kare Munoz has always love to escape into the world of good horror movies after all horror movies are scary but to kate a closeted queer teen growing up in rural texas real life can be way scarier hi man hello also graphics in here are stunning absolutely stunning i think they're fucking adorable so i think i'm also going to squeeze in this fun graphic novel and then i saw this one ander and santi were here i love this cover just love the cover the cover had me i didn't need anything else uh, but the little blurb inside says finding home falling in love fighting to belong aristotle and dante discovers the secrets of the universe meets the the sun is also a star and this why a contemporary love story between a non-binary mexican american teen falling for the shiny new waiter at their family's taqueria it sounds like a fun time to me. I love this cover. I cannot wait to dive into this book. And last but not least, I got All Boys Aren't Blue. This is by George M. Johnson. I have seen this book everywhere. Cannot wait to read it. This, I believe, also is a memoir. Cannot wait to read this. Once again, all of these books are incredibly short. So I'm going to try to fit in as many as I possibly can this weekend and have just a great old time. I might even squeeze another one in this week. I'm not gonna lie this one is really calling my name i really really think i'm gonna try to squeeze this one in this week because it's just look at that cover i'm not over the cover i'm not oh <gasps> wait a minute look at it naked wait wait focus 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 can you see that oh look at that it's embroidered oh i love that and they're also hot pink and if you guys don't know pink is my favorite color so that's fun love that and it is written by a non-binary author so we love own voices oh i love this this is told this is literally written by an own voices mexican american and i think it's going to be so so fun so fun these are definitely going to be fun. I cannot wait to get into these. This I might not even be able to wait until this weekend. I really, really, really want to read this. Maybe I can switch up my audiobook. Oh, also, that's probably another update I should give you guys. Uh, Catherine House. I'm hating it. I don't want to read it anymore. I'm literally 50% of the way through. And I'm probably going to DNF it. I'm giving up on life. I don't want to listen to it anymore. I'm over it. I don't get it. I'm confused. Uh, it's not the book for me, y'all. It's not the book for me. I don't know what's happening. I'm confused. Nothing's being explained. And Jan told me that I'll probably hate the ending because even she doesn't understand the ending. So, yeah, I'm probably going to DNF Catherine House because I can't take it. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and do some laundry. Probably try to see if maybe I can find this on audio. If not, maybe I can sit down and start it at least. But the font in here is pretty large. So hopefully I can start this. It's just I love this cover. I, like, I want this cover face out on my shelves because that cover is beautiful. The tones are just uh, artistic artistic as hell like it, it looks like a painting and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful anyway I'm gonna shut up now and leave you guys alone because this is an eight minute long update for no fucking reason I still have to edit today I desperately don't want to but I told myself I'm gonna edit for at least 30 minutes today and call it a day but let's go do some laundry 
Hopefully you get some audiobook listening time, make a little bit of progress in fourth wing. I am going to be taking my time with this, so I might not be able to finish this in this video, which is fine, but I am still going to make progress in this. I don't know how long this video is going to go. I don't really want it to go into the weekend. I do want to make uh, my own little weekend reading vlog this weekend, so I would like to get this in probably until Thursday. Probably until Thursday, Thursday or Friday, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I'll see you guys later whenever I have any updates. Hi, I'm back. It's like an hour later. I've been editing for like a little while and then I tidied up in my bedroom, but I have a package. I know what this is, but I have to open it on camera because I have to open it on camera. I did not order this. But I know what it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Divine Rival. It just, it's Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. <sighs> Jan sent me this. I know she sent me this because she told me that she sent me this. Because you deserve it. And this is absolutely going to be on my top 10 of 2023. So I hope you love it too from your spooky bestie. I love her so much. Um, so Jan is currently reading this. And she's currently obsessing over it. She thinks I'm also going to obsess over it. And I think she's absolutely right. Um, and I want to read it like now. But I can't just stop reading everything on my TBR. But I might, you know, because it's normal for me to do that anyway. Oh my god, I cannot believe she really got me this. So I added it to my, um, I added it to my wish list because I lost my debit card. So I'm waiting for my new debit card to come. So I added it to my wish list so when I get my new debit card, I could order it. She's like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. You need to read this now. I, so I got it for you. <laughs> Literally. Sorry. Bing, bing. Boom. She literally texted me yesterday when Juan and I went to breakfast. She's like, I don't care. It's gonna be at your house tomorrow. I love you. I was like, wait, what? Wait, no, did you get it? That was literally my fucking reaction. I was so, so confused. Also, it was super cheap. It was like $13 on Amazon. She's like, listen, it may not be this cheap by the time your card comes, okay? And then she was like, plus you deserve it after all the stress you've been going through lately. And I just, I fucking love her. And then, so me and her plan on reading the infernal devices together. She was like, fuck the infernal devices. You're reading this with me. <laughs> Oh my god, I just, I fucking love her. She was like, Welp, man, you can start tomorrow. I love her. She was like, Welp, ma'am, you can start tomorrow. And today is tomorrow. And I'm so excited. And I'm probably gonna start this right now because I have no self control, y'all. I have no self control. I can't, I can't do this. Okay? I, 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 this is why I don't have TBRs. But we're gonna just, you know, maybe read a couple of pages and then see where that goes. Man, her, she has like the fairy loot edition and it's so pretty. I don't like this cover. I think this cover is just the. But I'm intrigued. I'm very, very intrigued, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna go start this now because I have no self control. Bye! Okay, I literally just sent Jen a video of like me getting the package of the box because she obviously knows what it is. Um, and you guys have to watch the video that she just sent me. Oh yeah, bitch. Oh yeah. You're gonna start that book tonight. I don't give a shit. I will hold a gun to your head. I can't even threaten you, seriously. Um, no, but really, I will hold a metaphorical bookish gun to your head until you start that book. And we're gonna stream, okay? We're gonna stream. You're gonna hop on here. Oh my god. Why do I always hold this like a fish? Why do you <laughs> I don't know. It's just how I hold it for some reason. I always forget my tripod. I've been, I bought yeah. it for her, so she's now starting it. Um, If I don't, I'll have a uh, gun to my head. A bookish okay. gun to my head. Bookish metaphorical gun. No threats are allowed over here. <laughs> you guys should have seen her trying to threaten me and then immediately laugh afterwards because she <laughs> can't take herself seriously. Hi. Hello. How are you? We are in my old bedroom because the lighting in here is so much better than the lighting downstairs. And Jersey kind of looks like the end of the world right now because everything's kind of yellow. So the lighting downstairs is even worse. This right here is Domino. This is my parents' cat. Say hi, Domino. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. But we are here because I don't really have that many updates, but... I did get something that I definitely want to unbox. I did start a new book. Um, so I did read a little bit of uh, Divine Rivals and Fourth Wing this morning. But 
not enough for like an actual update so i'm not going to mention those but i did start how y'all doing by leslie jordan i do have the book downstairs i'm just not really getting it i'm currently 23 percent of the way through the audiobook and i'm really really enjoying it it's really funny i love seeing all of these and hearing all of his past experiences i had no idea he was even an actor before i only knew him through instagram so getting to know him's been really 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 fun and i'm really enjoying the audiobook like a lot um but let's open this because i'm excited for it <laughs> It's Jan's March. It's her new print that she did for her Patreon. And it just says Big Lair Energy. And I love the artwork that she put on here. It's just a regular crew neck. Which I really like. And for some reason Domino really wants it. Um, but yeah, I got this in a medium. So it fits me nice and loose. And I'm excited for it. Yes, bubs. What happened? You want attention. Okay. <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go hang out with domino now for a little while i'm gonna go get my dogs because they're outside and i'm gonna just pretty much chill out i might read a little bit more later on i don't really have too many plans for today so i think the uh plan is just to read and have a good time today so that's it domino you're purring loud as hell okay he's having a good time over here <laughs> okay i will see you guys later Okay, hi. So I just left the coffee shop. I loved that coffee shop. The coffee was so good. The vibes were great. The music was a little too loud, so I did have to put an ambiance in my ears because it was distracting me from reading. But I have finally hit the 100 page mark. I'm currently at page 105. I'm currently on chapter nine. And I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm loving it. I'm screaming. I'm cackling in points. I'm like a little fucking schoolgirl. It's just, I'm in it. I'm in it, I'm in it, and I'm fucking having a good time, okay? I'm really enjoying it. I was kind of <laughs> doing like little um, giggling things at the coffee shop because like there are certain things that I could not help. But like I am literally just writing all over like this book because there are things that keep happening that I can't help but highlight. I'm not tabbing it because I don't want to ruin this bright edges. But I still am annotating a bunch of it. Like, there are just so many lines. And I'm in love with Violet. I think she's a fucking badass. The things that she is doing are just so smart and tactical. I'm in love with this. I really am enjoying this. And it is still a five-star prediction. I definitely want to make more progress. You guys have no idea how mad I am right now that I have to go to work. Like, I'm so mad that I have to go to work. Because all I want to do is continue reading this book. But, um, the plan is to go to work now. And then I leave at five. I work nine to five today. Um and then go home and hopefully just be able to cram this book and just read as much as i possibly can tonight hopefully is the plan thing is that when juan gets home he distracts me and he gets home around 5 30 so that should be interesting but hopefully i have some reading time tonight that is the plan but i am gonna go to work now and i will see you guys later but i am loving fourth wing and i just want to keep reading it so badly <laughs> hello how are you i am finally home from work it is 5 12 and i just got home but I have two minor updates, um, nothing crazy, but I did finish How Y'all Doing by Leslie Jordan, loved this, I actually ended up giving it five stars, that was hilarious, he was just, uh, he was such a witty, joyful soul, and I just, so sad that he's gone, but he had such a blight to him, and you can definitely see it in this book, I highly recommend it, it's a very fun, fast read, um, then I started it, and I'm really, really liking this book. It's definitely like a haters to lovers type of feel. Um, I'm only about 20% in. I'm about 68 pages into the book, um, and I'm enjoying it. It's really cute. It's adorable. I love this cover. I think the cover is just absolutely adorable. The sun is right in my face, so I'm about to go take a shower and just kind of relax. I plan on reading a bunch um, because all I want to do is think about fourth wing. I have not been able to stop thinking about fourth wing all day and all I want to do is cuddle in bed and read the book, okay? I don't want to do anything else but read fourth wing for the rest of the day. So that's pretty much the plan. I'm happy it's finally the weekend and I can just relax. So I'm going to go take a shower, get cuddled up and snuggled and read. Hopefully as much as humanly possible today. <laughs> Calls her violence. The way he calls her violence. The way 
Hey, culture of violence. Hi. It's Sunday. And I've had a terrifying type of weekend. Um, but we are outside because it's the first day that I've actually been okay enough to not only function, but to feel semi-sane. So I do have a minor update on fourth wing. I've not been able to make as much progress because there have been some things in my life that have happened. Um, so I'm sorry if it's loud. I just inside is not where I want to be right now. Um, but I am on page 180 and I am absolutely loving this. I cannot, cannot put it into words how much I am loving this. Yes, it is a five star prediction. It's, it's, it's damn near getting to one of my favorite books that I've read in a very, very, very long time. And I hate to say it, but this might be, this might be the best book I've read all year so far. Um, I can't even believe I'm saying that because it's kind of crazy. Um, but I am absolutely loving this book. I am in a really good part, a very, very good part, and I just, like, I can't stop reading this book, okay? Now, this vlog has been going on for a very long time because I chose to physically read this book and there's been a lot of things going on in my life, so I am probably going to keep this vlog going until I finish this book, which might take me probably another week, um, but... It is Sunday, and I do hope to be reading this a good chunk today. It's about 12.30, I think. Uh, me and him just went food shopping. We went to go get some breakfast. I have been reading a little bit, and I hope to make a really good chunk in this today. I believe Jan is having uh, reading sprints today for her Patreon. I think it's her unhinged sprints, which uh, she and Joey do once a month where they read a very short novella. It's usually a horror novella. And it's really, really fun, um, but I will not be reading that. I'll be reading this. I'll just be using those sprints as um, motivation to do so. <laughs> um, and I'm excited. So I just really want to make more progress in this book and just breathe, you know? Just breathe for a little bit, a little point in my life. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to sit right here and I'm going to read for a little while because I am devouring this book. And I am one of those basic ass girls that is just living for this. I am living for this, okay? I really am. And I wonder where you are. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Hi, it's Monday. Um, and this is a part of my house that you have not seen before. We are in my garage turned kitchen slash living area. And this guy who seems to annoy me a lot is down here. First things first, it is Monday. Hello, happy Monday. Tuesday. Um, shut up. And we have, we have updates. We also have an unboxing, a very, very special unboxing I'm very excited about. Um, but camera keeps going in and out of fucking focus we stop that uh first let's let's do an update i am absolutely screaming quaking just kicking all all of the feels i can't stop y'all <laughs> i am just i'm so obsessed with this book i don't want it to end but i can't put it down I can't put it down like I will literally tell myself okay in this chapter I'll go and get water in this chapter then I'll go up and pee um yet yeah, no I'll finish the chapter immediately start the next one and forget about it because I can't put it down okay it's so good and we got we got we got a kissing scene and let's just say let's just say things got heated they um things got heated and it was, it was hot, it was steamy, and I was having a good ass time with it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. I am loving this book. I'm, love, I'm loving everything about it. I don't ever want it to end, and I'm upset. But I am excited that at least we don't have to wait too long because the sequel comes out in November, so that's great. Um, and then we have an unboxing. So this is, there's wetness on here. Um, so this is from Pango. I need something to open it. 
So this is from Pango and I'm extremely excited about it because I saw it. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God. They just gave me the entire fairy loot unboxing experience. It's still in like the fairy loot thing. This is so adorable. Um, it is a fairy loot edition, which I'm very excited for. I saw it on Pango and it was like $20 and I was like, mine. Because it's flipping gorgeous. I actually just saw a video Jan unboxing this exact same book, which is kind of funny. Um, but oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, they really gave me everything. Guys, I got this for like $20. Ah, don't fall. Please don't fall. <gasps> There's a bookmark in here. Oh, that's so pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay, this is definitely the, uh, this is April's, right? This is April's Fairy Loot. So if you guys don't want to be, um, spoiled for April's Fairy Loot, I didn't realize this was actually all coming in. I thought it was just the book. But, um, I got a bang for my buck, okay? Look at these prints. That's cute. That's just the April one. But, like, this print is super cute. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, my God. This is so adorable. But let's just, let's unbox the book now. <gasps> Look at it. Wait for it. Baby. Look at it. That's cool. Right? How amazing is that? <gasps> Babe! I love this edition. It is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait. Is the back? Super cute! Look at that! But definitely the best part is like this. So I'm definitely gonna have it with the sprayed edges facing. That is absolutely stunning. I cannot believe they did that. But I cannot wait to read this mainly because it's so pretty. Um, I have not read an Alexander Bracken before. So I am excited to read it. I have owned lore since it literally came out. Like what, two or three years ago. I've owned lore since the day it came out. Um, and I have yet to read it, but this book, this book, I think I might, I might read very, very soon. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to add this to my collection. I have not owned anything Fairy Loot. I did just apply to be on the wait list for the adult book, um, for each and every single month. So hopefully that wait list doesn't take too, too long because I would love to get my hands on some Fairy Loot editions. I have a couple special editions, but they're mostly just Illumicrate editions. Like they're mostly just my Sarah J Mass ones. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for this. Oh my god, it was way better than I thought it was going to be. I'm definitely going to rate her five stars. Oh my god, she deserves it all. Um, but yeah, that's the update. I'm going to go and continue reading this now because, of course, we all know I can't put this down. Um, I don't even know if I told you guys what page I'm on. I'm currently on page 333. Um, I can't tell you how much I've read today because I don't know. Um, but I've been reading this all day. This book made me read through my lunch. Okay, now mind you, I look at a computer screen all day. So literally during lunch, I like to just watch my show for 15 minutes and eat. But this book was like, nope, 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 you're reading me during lunch, okay? And it was the best 15 minutes of my life, okay? Maybe 20 minutes, but let's not talk about it because I didn't clock out. Um, but yeah, the lighting down here is way better than the lighting upstairs. I should probably film down here a lot more. I'm losing. I'm losing my shit. Absolutely losing my shit. I'm not okay. Like, what the fuck is going on? And I can't, I can't. Things keep happening. And they're messing with my brain. Send help my way, because I'm going to need all of it. God damn it, i got to take my pill. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. But I'm probably, I would like to finish this tomorrow, but that's a lot of pages. But I do have half a day tomorrow, so. At least I have that going for myself. Probably go to a uh, a coffee shop. That's the plan. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, I did read a little bit more last night, but I think I updated you guys before I went to bed anyway. Um, I did make it to page 363. I do have a little chunk of this book left. And today, I requested a half day. So, I am very happy I did so because I got 
my period this morning and I feel crappy. Um, I am having like the worst cramps. I was having really bad cramps yesterday also, but today they are just on 10 out of 10. So we're gonna go at Starbucks and get the sugariest drink you can possibly think of um, and eat croissants. Cause that's what I want right now. And we're gonna read. Um, I leave work at one today, so I do plan on hopefully going to um, a coffee shop and reading my book there. I am hoping I can finish Fourth Wing today um, so I can end this vlog off. Because <laughs> this vlog's been going on for a very long time. It's going to be a very, very long reading vlog. I actually might not, not even end it. No, actually, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to end this vlog off yet because I really want to finish Divine Rivals also. I really want to finish Fourth Wing so I can continue Divine Rivals because I was really enjoying Divine Rivals. And it's just a story that you want to ingest at all times possible. <laughs> so I really hope that I can finish Fourth Wing so I can continue Divine Rivals. And then I'll probably end the vlog off. But anyway... Um, let's go to Starbucks, get our food, have our coffee, get some B-roll, and read before work, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Okay, the sun is like directly hitting my eyes, but guys, 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 guys. For those of you who know, this chapter, this chapter is, is, is everything. I think I highlighted probably the entire fucking thing. But chapter 30, chapter 30, chapter 30 really did it for me, y'all. <laughs> I did not want to put this down. I hate that I have to go to work right now. I'm on page 383 and all I want to do is go and finish this fucking book okay that's all i want to fucking do i just want to keep reading i don't want to go to work i don't okay but you know what at least i get to go to work and do all my shit so i can leave early as fuck that's the plan okay uh, i have my airpods so i can listen to uh an audiobook and stuff as i'm doing my thing but let's go to work so i can leave faster that's my plan because um this book is so good <laughs> Why is it so good? It's so good. It's so good. I can't I can't I can't fathom how good this book is. I Really can't okay. Bye I'm free Let's go to a coffee shop. Let's read we might even go to a bookstore because it's Tuesday and my bookstore owner always has new releases on Tuesdays So let's go book shopping Hopefully only buy one book and try to resist just a teeny tiny bit. Um, and let's just go have a great rest of my day. It's currently one o'clock, so I do hope I can finish fourth wing today. Um, but let's go do some book shopping, let's go to a cafe, and let's have a me time day, okay? I'm I'm having I'm very I'm very happy right now. <laughs>
I'm kind of a mess, but I got home about an hour ago, but I wanted to go do a quick little grocery shopping because we he just want to get a couple stuff. But little thing. First, we have an update and then I have a mini book haul. Um because I want book shopping. But I'm I'm not okay. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I put the clip in here of me crying, but my battery was dying so I couldn't get the whole thing. Um, I, I was straight up crying, like crying at the coffee shop when something happened. And I think if you know, if you've read this book, I think you understand what would make me cry like that. Um, and I'm so, I'm still so upset by it. Like, I'm not okay. Oh my, I was thinking about it was, I like want to cry, okay, because I'm so sad. I'm still not okay. I'm so sad. Like, it's not fair. Fuck. It's not fair. I'm upset. But anyway, if you've read the book, you know it's probably making me cry right now. But, um, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm on page. Uh, 400 and something. 475. I was at that coffee shop for hours. I think I was there for like two or three hours. Um, and I was non-stop reading this book. I don't even remember what, um, page I was on. I'm sorry. I'm like, my eyes burning because my dog, when I went to go let her out, got very excited when I picked her up and scratched my face. So I kind of burned it's right under my eye. Um, but yeah, I only have this little part left, so I am going to be finishing this today. I will be filming my reaction to like the last page or two because everyone tells me that the very last line of this book is like insane. So I will be filming it um, and catch my reaction to it. I have been actually, um, I am so terrified of spoiling myself and I'm going to stop flipping pages. But this book is quite frankly becoming my favorite of the year. And guys, guys, it's getting up there. It's really giving me Sarah J Mass vibes. If you are a Sarah J Mass fan, I am sure that this would um, appeal to you, unless you're Hannah. <laughs> if you're not Hannah, this might appeal to you. But I don't know how Hannah didn't like this. This is like, this gives me so much Sarah J Mass vibes. Like there's a lot of things in here that I am sure were inspired by Sarah J Mass. Like there's a lot of things in here that remind me of Sarah J Mass. And it's so good. Like, I'm so obsessed. This is going to be my entire personality. Uh, the Fairy Loot edition of Fourth Week comes out, I believe, on the 21st. I have it marked on my calendar. Um, and I really hope that I can get an edition. Because <laughs> I will be getting an edition. Any special edition of this book, I will be buying. Um, and I will be pre-ordering the, the uh, one that comes out in November. Because <laughs> I can't help myself. Um, I'm probably going to be pre-ordering that through my bookstore. Because my bookstore always gets me my books early. If you guys are in New Jersey, there is an indie bookstore called Here's the Story. It's located in Union, New Jersey. And he is the best. If you ever do pre-orders with him, you'll always get it before release day. He always gets them nice and early. If you do pre-orders with him, he will end up letting you know if they get it there early. And he'll put it on the side for you. He's really great. He always calls you when a pre-order comes in. And it's fantastic. I love him to death. He's great. His name's Joe. He owns Here's the Book. Here's the Story. Um, it's a bookstore in Union, and it's fantastic. Love him to death. Um, but yeah, so... That's, that's it. That's my entire rant. <laughs> I'll be probably pre-ordering two editions for the uh, sequel that comes out because the sequel that's going to end up coming out, it comes out in November, which I'm very excited about because I don't have to wait too, too long. So I will be pre-ordering it through not only Bad Bookstore, but probably through Barnes & Noble also to make sure that I get a very pretty edition. Um, and then I, of course, went to my local indie bookstore. I got some bookmarks as well as two books. So one book I did already have my eye on. The other book I've seen at my bookstore a couple times. So I was like, you know what? This actually looks really, really interesting when I actually read into it. So the one that I've seen a couple times already is Homecoming by Kate Morton. Um, I have not seen this book, weirdly enough. I don't know. It looked like a fantasy. And I don't know if it's fantasy. Um, but yeah, I saw this book. I will not lie to you. The cover got me. I think the cover is just super, super pretty. Um, I, we all know I'm a cover girly. But yeah, so that definitely got me. I don't know who Kate Morton is, but apparently she is a New York Times bestseller. The Clockmaker's Daughter, I feel like I have heard of, um, but 
I believe. Is this a thriller? I don't really know to be honest with you. All I know is I did happen I did happen to read the back that says no matter what happens, I'll be here and you always always come home. And like the blurbs from People magazine say the per the perfect page turner for a chilly night. Washington Post says a rich treat. And then Irish Times said you may not intend to stay up till 3 a.m. But there you are turning the pages faster and faster pretending the alarm clock isn't set for 7 a.m. So I don't really know what kind of genre this is, but I am intrigued. I really hope it's not a thriller because I'm going to be really disappointed in myself because it's a really pretty book. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I got this one. I don't really know what it's about, but it's fine. And then this one I'm definitely excited for because this one I already had my eyes on. So this is Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Torts. Um, I have seen this already um, requested to me through Amazon. It keeps being recommended to me on my homepage. Um, definitely sounds like my kind of book. It had all my fun, fun, fun words in here. So of course we have magic, we have magical books, we have family's library, and we have a, I believe there is a half sister thing in here. Yeah. Two estranged half-sisters tasked with guarding their family's library of magical books must work together to unravel a deadly secret at the heart of their collection, a tale of familial loyalty and betrayal, and the pursuit of power and magic. So, this definitely has um, some of my keywords that I love. Um, I do like a sister story. I don't read a lot of them, but I do like them. Um, and I really hope I enjoy this one. There's that. Anyway, that's the whole last update. I don't know why that took me so damn long, but I am going to finish Fourth Wing tonight. I'm probably gonna go and finish it in a little while, um, but <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna be. Uh, but yeah, so when I'm finishing this book, when I'm like on the last two pages, I'm gonna have it marked so I know when to start recording. Um, but when I'm on the second to last page, I will record my reaction to the very end, the ending, um, and that that is the plan. I'm gonna put these away now so I can finish fourth wing and I'm not ready to finish fourth, fourth wing but it's gonna happen it's gotta happen it's probably also gonna happen in my bedroom <laughs> where the lighting's terrible so I'm going to apologize in advance for the terrible lighting great okay that's it now bye <laughs> oh I have Jan's merch on go check out her patreon that's it No. No, 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 no. No! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. I need to read that again. Hold up, hold up. Did I just read that right? Did I read that right? Am I just stupid? Where the fuck the page go? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my God. I need, I need a minute. I need a fucking hour. I might need a week. Who the fuck knows? Oh my God. Oh my God. I finished it, but I can't compute any thoughts right now, so I'm gonna check in with you once like everything sinks into my head. Cause nothing, nothing makes sense in my life right now. Holy shit, I did not see that coming. Did not, I should have, but I did not see that coming. Okay, well I need it to be November already because I need this book in my hand. I just do. Anyway, well, it's five stars if you can't tell already, but I'll probably compute my thoughts and get back to you in I don't fucking know when. A minute, an hour, a day, a week. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to process these. I'm glad. Oh, hi. I'm Jan from Jan. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I just cried. It's okay, um, I did too. Let's go to Christina. Hello, vlog. I hope you're not in a book hangover. I really hope fucking not. Hi, happy Wednesday. Okay, I have finally given myself some time to think. So let's 
let's talk a little bit, shall we? Um, so, um, I'm not okay. <laughs> that last line is insane. And I'm not. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't think I can wait until November for the next book. It was, I loved it. I loved every second of it. I gave it obviously five stars. It is my favorite book I've read of the year. I will say my only complaint about it is she took one too many things out of Sarah J. Mass's playbook. In my own opinion, you don't have to agree with me. Um, but there were a lot of similarities to Sarah J. Mass um, in this book that I noticed. Um, but that is probably the only complaint. Other than that, it was actual perfection. And from a Sarah J. Mass lover, is it really a complaint to be honest? I absolutely love this book. This book is the kind of book that makes you forget you're reading. The kind of book that reminds you why you love reading so much and the perfect book to just escape into because you just get lost in it. Um, you get completely lost and before you know it, you just keep flipping and flipping and flipping and then fill, but like you keep flipping the pages and you can't stop. It is the epitome of an addiction. This book is so good. I loved every second of it from the characters to the drama to the stakes, to the actual plot, like everything about this book was literal perfection. I loved the characters. I am a very character driven reader so that for me obviously does make or break a book for me and I loved the two main characters. Loved, loved them so much. Um, gay, I would give anything for Zayden right now, okay? I would give anything to meet Zayden in real life. But holy heck, okay? Now, I will be buying every fourth wing edition I can get my hands on, so just so you know. Uh, there is a German edition of Fourth Wing that I would love to get my hands on because it's just stunning. Like, I can't understand what's on it, but it is a stunning edition that I want. <laughs> Don't know how I'm going to get it, but I'm going to try. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't believe how good it was. Anyway, I'm at Starbucks right now and I have Divine Rivals with me, so I'm going to read here for a little while before going to work. Um, I have about, like, 30 40 minutes before I have to head out to work so I have a little bit of reading time this Starbucks is right next to my job so it works out conveniently I'm like five minutes away from my job so I can just finish here go to work and still be on time anyway I'm gonna shut up now so I can go read Divine Rivals because Divine Rivals has been in my head um, and I have been thinking about it so I'm very happy to just get back into it anyway I'm gonna shut up now I'll uh, see you guys later <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's Friday. Um, <laughs> hello, hello. It is Friday. Um, this is also the last day of this vlog. We have an update. We have other things. Let's just get into it. So first things first, I did finish a book yesterday. So I did finish um, Café Con Lychee yesterday on audio. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm giving it four stars. It was a really, really cute really really cute like rom com -y type of haters to lovers romance it was really really adorable i enjoyed the story it was a really fun audiobook and i would highly recommend you guys check it out um next we have divine rivals so for hold on because it's bothering me uh i am currently on page 113 and i'm going to go and continue this book now i'm about to go to a coffee shop and just continue reading this book i don't think i'll be able to finish it today um but i am ending this vlog today because as i was editing this vlog yesterday i just realized that this vlog's been going on for like two weeks so we're definitely gonna end up end this vlog off today so i can start a new one tomorrow because i have a new um vlog idea that i want to start tomorrow which is gonna be really really fun. So let's go to a coffee shop. That's what we're about to do right now. We're gonna go to Sometimes I talk too fast. Uh, we are about to go to a coffee shop and just have a nice cozy morning. I don't have to be at work until about 10, so it's currently 7 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna go hang out at a coffee shop for a little while and just kind of hang out. I am debating on just going to Starbucks, which I think I'm going to end up doing because one it's way closer to my job so i wouldn't have to leave as early and it's way closer to me and the coffee is kind of better so we might do that that's exactly what we might do we're actually gonna go to starbucks instead i was gonna go to this coffee shop that's like 
10 15 minutes away from me but i don't want to anymore i think i would rather go to starbucks because honestly the starbucks over here is so cute and so nice and my battery's dying so that's great anyway okay bye i'll see you guys later <laughs> Okay, we're going to make this like the fastest update of my life because my battery's dying and the lighting's terrible. But um, I also have Starbucks. I was there for about two hours. I read so much, so much. I'm currently on page 281. I'm obsessed. I'm loving it. I don't want to ever put it down. And I'm going to finish this today. Didn't think I was going to, but I'm loving this. Like loving this. It's so fucking good. I'm loving every second of it. If you guys have not picked up this book, pick it up now okay um that's it because my fucking battery is flashing at me never read that fast in my life i'm adoring this goddamn book and the coffee was amazing that's it i'm having a great morning i'll see you guys when i finish this book okay hello how are you let's make this quick because my dogs are going nuts you're going nuts just war nuts divine rivals i just finished this book and oh my god the ending was so good so good so fast the last like, 150 pages of this book just like fly. They fly. This book had me questioning my reading ability because I didn't know I could read that fast. It was so good. I could not put it down. It took me a little while to get into it because like I was into it within like 50 pages. But I think because I was reading Fourth Wing, Fourth Wing kind of just like took over my life. But this book is so good. I'm giving it four and a half stars. I cannot wait for the next one to come out. I hate that it's going to come out in like a year because I'm like, wait that long. But the ending was jaw dropping. Like it was so good. Did not see it coming and I loved every single second of it. Cannot wait to continue it. Highly, highly recommend this book. I literally did not think I was going to be able to finish this book within this vlog and somehow I pulled it off. And... We have two unboxings because we all know I cannot control myself, but I have a fun vlog planned for next week. So this is pretty much going to be hopefully for that vlog if I actually end up reading and sticking to my TBR, which I never tend to actually do. So let's see. Let's open the first one. So this is The Bridge Kingdom. This is by Danielle Jensen. I did already start this on KU. I'm like 10 pages into it, but I loved the beginning so much that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy the physical book. Thank you. My mother doesn't wanna be on camera. Yeah, I'm not dressed properly. Um, so I loved the first 10 pages so much that I decided to actually buy the physical book because I get too much satisfaction from physical books and I wish I didn't because I could have just read this on Kindle for free, but nope, I need a physical book. Um, but the font in here is massive. I do plan on physically reading this. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Cool. We're gonna start squeaking that thing right now. Give me five minutes, bro. Uh, so, yeah. Christina, look Watch at this. me. What are you doing, honey? My, I want to know. Doing her vlog. Ow. So, the next one is the one I'm actually really, really excited for because this one. This one is like all over my bookstore, it's all over TikTok, it's all over my Goodreads, it's everywhere. And did not know she was so damn thick, by the way, until I saw the page count on Goodreads. Um, but oh my god, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. So this is Blood Mercy, it's by Bella Roth. This is like literally everywhere. This series is massive, by the way. I think there's only like, I think there's already like seven books out or something. There's like an extreme amount of books out already of, of this fucking series but look at how big it is it's bigger than my face it's so thick did not realize it okay and my ambitious ass is like i'll squeeze this in a weekly reading vlog squeeze what into a weekly reading vlog 500 pages like huh no this book is 650 pages and i'm here like okay i'll squeeze it in a week excuse me ma'am but I'm still extremely excited for this. This book is highly hyped in my in my head right now. It is kind of a five star prediction. I'm in a huge fantasy mood. If you guys can't tell, I'm in a massive fantasy mood. But just look at the difference between these two books, please. She a thick girl. She a thick, thick girl. Hi, baby girl. Okay, you guys can see that there's a lot of dogs in this house, can't you? Okay, there you go. All the dogs, all the love, all the fun, all the greatness. Anyway, I'm going to close off the vlog here because it's kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, we have made it to the end of the vlog. I'm going to do this really, really fast so this dog does not freaking kill us for hiding her toy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a 
thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure my post notifications are on so you know every single time I post a bookish video. And I'll see you guys in a bookish video coming soon. Ah, bye.